उटिसमेंट You can see over here the various diverse forms. ये देखो बेटा ये कितने सारे various diverse forms हैं यहाँ पर जो आपको दिखाई देते हैं animal के kingdom में. Everything we have to see in detail. Everything. Okay. So let us go with each one of them. So there are total eleven major phyla of animalia. What are the phyla? so in living world we had seen something called as species to the kingdom and in that we had seen something called as phylum so वैसे animal के लिए phylum was the word and uh, plants के लिए the word was division if you remember correct yes so here it's going to be the phyla so let us understand how many phyla we have to study in detail okay porifera nedaria tenophora Platyal menthes, ascal menthes, anelida, arthropoda, mollusca, echinodermata, hemichordata, and chordata. These are the different phyla that we have to learn about. Like in plant kingdom, we have seen something called as halophyta, bryophyta, pteridophyta, gymnospermae, and angiospermae. We have seen five, correct? In plant kingdom, with all of you all, right now the plant kingdom is going on in our physical lectures and Uh, both you know like uh, batches we are going to complete it in the coming week correct so we have seen five here we have to see eleven so is it that difficult no it's very simple and it's very easy just remember uh, you know in what chronology it's going to be going ahead like from porifera to chordata the porifera ke baad nidaria hi aayega uske baad tenophora hi aayega to ye chronology aapko yaad rakhni hai hmm? that is important then yeah the order is very important yes let us see the basis of classification that what are the criteria that are used for separating segregating these animals so first is going to be level of organization level of organization mein kya kya aayega ki bhai ye cellular unicellular hai ya multicellular hai agar multicellular hai to tissue banata hai ऑर्गन बनाता है या ऑर्गन सिस्टम बनाता है दैट इज कॉल्ड लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हाउ द सिस्टम इज गोइंग टू बी बेस्ड ऑन द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द डिफरेंट सेल्स दैट इज लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बॉडी सिमेट्री आई गो इन ईच ऑफ देम आई गोट गो इन डिटेल ओके बॉडी सिमेट्री हाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट बॉडी सिमेट्री इज गोइंग टू बी रेडियल है बाइलेट्रल है ए सिमेट्रिकल है वो देखना है germinal layers you know the three germinal layers so are all the organisms made up of all the three germinal layer or is it few of them two germinal layer or one germinal layer or they do not have any specific germinal layer depending on that they have classified right coelom coelom bolte hai isko it is not called as coelom or something like that way we use the word coelom hmm coelom ka matlab hota hai cavity body cavity so some of these would be having a body cavity some will have false body cavity and some will have no body cavity so what exactly it is we'll be talking about fifth is metamerism metamerism ka matlab hota hai inside as well as outside you can see segmentation of the body so the best example is would be the earthworm where you can see the segments from outside also and from internal side also Luckily or unluckily, I don't know. 
बट आपको अर्थ कुंभ का डायसेक्शन नहीं है कॉलेज में तो इंटरनली भी वो सेगमेंटेड होता है ये अभी आपको मानना पड़ेगा क्योंकि तो आपको करना नहीं है अभी वी हैड टू यू नो वी हैड यू नो लिबर्टी ऑफ कटिंग दर्थ कुम एंड ऑब्जर्विंग इट इंटरनली ऑल्सो एनीस so metamorphism that is segmentation and presence or absence of a notochord so these are the six basic criteria which will classify the different uh, animals into 11 different groups from porifera to cordata theek hai ek ek ko dekhenge first level of organization based on organization of cells animals are grouped into four levels cellular tissue organ and organ system correct ek ek complex badhta jaye cellular ka sabse pehle hum dekhenge cellular level of organization see that was the reason that i was telling you all that when you look at the pictures of a different animals it will be very easy for you all to understand this chapter isme difficult kuch nahi hai Conceptually simple chapter है ये देखो यू यू कैन सी द सेल्स आर अरेज लूज सेल एग्रीगेट्स ओके दे आर सीन एज लूज सेल एग्रीगेट्स ये देखो दे यू कैन सी दे आर जस्ट लाइक यू नो हॉलो सिलेंड्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर ये स्पॉन्जेस है बेसिकली एंड दे आर हॉलो सिलेंड्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर और इनमें ऐसा टिश्यू या फिर ऐसा स्पेसिफिक कोई शेप नहीं बन रहा है So these are would be your loose cell aggregates. Example is porifera. Okay, tissue level of organization is nadarians and tenophora. So here you can see a jellyfish. आपने कभी jellyfish देखा है कि नहीं मुझे पता नहीं. But uh, underwater वाले जितने भी uh, ये आते हैं ना television पे they show the underwater वाले scenes and all. उसमें ये ना jellyfish बहुत common दिखता है. It moves like an umbrella के जैसे ऐसे ऐसे move करता जाता है। So those are going to be on the darians and tenophores. Cells are arranged into tissues. So one has simple cell aggregation, which is called as cell aggregates. For a family, उससे थोड़े advanced क्या हो गए? The cells will be arranged in a typical tissue form. Okay, that is going to be on the darians and tenophores. ऑर्गन लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में क्या है देखो ऑर्गन बन रहा है अभी सो टिश्यूज आर अरेंज्ड इन ऑर्गन्स एग्जांपल हायर एनिमल्स फ्रॉम प्लैटियल मेंटिस टू कॉर्डेट्स फ्रॉम प्लैटियल मेंटिस टू कॉर्डेट्स वी हैव गॉट ऑर्गन लेवल एंड ऑर्गन्स आर एसोसिएटेड टू फॉर्म वेरियस ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स ईच सिस्टम परफॉर्म्स अ फिजियोलॉजिकल फंक्शन एग्जांपल अगेन ऑल हायर एनिमल्स ओके तो ये अगर आप देखोगे तो ये दोनों ऑर्गेनिज्म सेम ही है ऑर्गन लेवल पे भी और ऑर्गेनिज्म लेवल ऑर्गन सिस्टम के नाम पे भी यस बिकॉज दे हैव गॉट ऑर्गन्स आल्सो एंड द ऑर्गन्स आर इंटरकनेक्टेड टू फॉर्म ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स आल्सो ओके सो दिस आर द फोर लेवल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेल्यूलर टिश्यू ऑर्गन एंड ऑर्गन सिस्टम एनी कंफ्यूजन इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग दीज पॉइंट इजी है यस Now we come to the level of organization. Organ systems of different animals show different complexities. For example, we have got digestive system, we have got circulatory system, respiratory system, excretory system, reproductive system, nervous system, skeletal system. Right? ये सारे जो systems हैं ना बेटा उनमें हमने देखा है दैट आर वंस नॉट वन सिंगल ऑर्गन बट सेवरल ऑर्गन्स आर इंटरकनेक्टेड टू परफॉर्म द सेम फंक्शन सो लाइक इन केस ऑफ डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम वी हैव गॉट टू टाइप्स ऑफ डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इनकंप्लीट एंड कंप्लीट सो दोस ऑर्गेनिजम्स व्हिच शो ऑर्गन सिस्टम लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टिल दे विल बी क्लासिफाइड फर्दर इनटू टू ग्रुप्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन देयर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम सो इनकम्प्लीट डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम में क्या होता है इट हैज ओनली अ सिंगल ओपनिंग दैट एक्ट एज माउथ एज वेल एज एज एन सो एक ही ओपनिंग है माउथ भी वही है और एनस भी वही है 
So example is nadaria and platyal menthus. Nadaria diya hai bata, porifera nahi diya hai because porifera jo hota hai unme cell aggregates se tissue level, organ level kuch nahi hai. Okay, complete. It has got two openings, mouth and anus. Circulatory system is again of two types: open circulatory system and closed circulatory system. So here you can see incomplete digestive system in hydra. A single opening is going to be present. Correct. यही से खाना है, यही से फेंकना है unwanted चीज़. Complete में you have got one mouth and one anus. Fine. Then we go with symmetry. तो ये समझाना. What is open? What is closed? What is incomplete? What is complete? Any confusion in these? Okay. Yeah. Symmetry. It is the arrangement of similar body parts on two sides of the main axis of the body. So body can be divided into similar parts based on symmetry. Animals are of three different types. It's a mistake of your two likha hai. Three hai. Asymmetrical, radial, and bilateral. So here you can see asymmetrical. ये L size का shape है ना बेटा कि इसको दो parts में हम equally distribute कर ही नहीं सकते, right? तो ये देख, this is a sponge. Okay, a sponge has no symmetry. You cannot divide it into two equal parts at any given moment. Okay, symmetrical में अ ये ये हो गया अपना ए सिमेट्रिकल ये देख ये है बाइलैटरली सिमेट्रिकल मतलब क्या और ये मीन है बाइलैटरली सिमेट्रिकल व्हेन यू कट इट इनटू फ्रॉम द मीडियन व्हेन यू कट इट एक्सेक्टली इनटू टू हाफ्स दोनों साइड के बोथ साइड्स जो होते हैं वो आपको उसका मिरर इमेज मिलेगा इवन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आर बाइलैटरली सिमेट्रिकल एंड व्हाट इज रेडियल सिमेट्री यू कट इट इनटू एनी फैशन आपको Similar halves will be here. Okay, that is radial symmetry. So there are three types of symmetries over here. See, asymmetry here the body cannot be divided into two equal halves. Most of the porphyrins and snails show this type of asymmetrical structures. Radial symmetry here the body can be divided into two equal halves by any vertical plane along the central axis. So you cut it in this fashion. You cut it in this fashion. You cut it in this fashion. Whatever ye way you want to cut it, you can cut it, and you are always going to get two equal halves. Okay? So see, they have shown the diagram of two equal halves. How do you get it? So if you cut it any way, you will not have any problem. You will always get two equal halves. Okay? Okay? So here you can see the diagram of two equal halves. Bilateral, here the body can be divided into right and left halves. In only one plane. Example: platyal menthus to chordata, except adult echinoderms. Adult echinoderms, who are there, they will show radial bilateral symmetry. Okay. So this is about the one more criteria that is considered for making groups of animals. Any doubts? Any confusions? Anyone having difficulty with symmetry? Easy. One plane. This, this, this will be one plane. This will be the second plane. This will be the third plane. Plane means an angle. Okay. The way you cut your cake, you can cut it in this way. You can cut it in this way. You can cut it diagonally. Whatever plane you want, you can cut the cake into the way you want it. Generally, we cut it in a very precise way. But छोटे बच्चे अगर तुमने देखे हैं तो they are so into about cutting the cake and eating that ना जैसे चाहिए वैसे ऐसे ऐसे उल्टा पुल्टा कैसे भी करके उसको काटेंगे right so that is called as in any play well then let's see the third criteria of classification that's called as the germinal layers so these are the layers of the embryo from which all the body organs are formed. We have seen in detail about the origin of ecto, endo, and meso. Based on the germinal layers, animals are of 
two types diploblastic and triploblastic okay so you know this this is a blastocele ha huh? this is your inner mass of cells and trophoblastic cells and now gastrulation is taking place to form ectoderm mesoderm endoderm you know all these things correct right? which will give rise to two different types of germ layers okay so what are those what is diploblastic and what is triploblastic let us understand see diploblastic animals they have only two germ layers outer ectoderm and inner endoderm okay in between these layers an undifferentiated jelly like layer called as mesoglia is present example nadaria and tenophora now here you can see this gray ones are ectoderms these are the endoderms and in between there is going to be this red color ka layer which is going to be called as mesoglia fine triploblastic animals like we all we don't have mesoglia ha huh? what we have seen ectoderm endoderm and then we have looked this mesoderm or endoderm so you can see this endoderm mesoderm ectoderm so three germ layers outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and inner ectoderm will be present so we all will be considered as what triploblast so from platyel menthes to nadaria we are what triploblast diplo means two triplo means three two germ layers three germ layers ye germ layer nahi hai beta ye jo hai ye mesoglia hai it's a mucus like uh, layer that is going to be helping in binding the ecto with the endo okay silo that is the body cavity very important to understand this there is a lot of misconception and uh, people are uh, you know generally they get confused with these body cavity name please understand it is the cavity lined by mesoderm so what is the cavity the cavity should be lined by mesoderm it is seen between body wall and gut wall body wall and gut wall Cilium separates the muscles of the gut and the body wall. Based on the nature of cilium, animals are of three types: acilomate, pseudocilomate, and through cilomates. That is, normal we call them as cilomates. Okay. So here you can see this is the cilium. Here they. Okay. This is the mesoderm. So this mesoderm is whose? This is mesoderm body wall. Okay. और ये मीजोडम का तो कौन सी हिस्सा है तो ये मीजोडम है अपने गट वॉल का तो बॉडी वॉल का मीजोडम एंड गट वॉल के मीजोडम के बीच में ये जो कैविटी बनी है दैट इज गोट बी कॉल्ड अस सी सो व्हाट इज सी लो कैविटी व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द बॉडी वॉल एंड द गट वॉल ठीक है सी नाउ लुक एट दिस हियर यू कैन सी i hope you all are understanding this particular this is the body wall see and this is the gut wall gut wall will contain everything uh, your entire digestive system ka apna pura ka pura jo pipeline hai na wo pura ka pura will be considered as the gut okay fine now what is your doubt beta what are those vertical lines between gut walls and they are going to be called as mesenteries i'll come to that it will be called as mesenteries okay so this is the body wall this is the gut wall hmm now here you can see this is the lined body cavity jisko hum coelom keh rahe hain and here you can see peritoneum so this is the peritoneum एंड ये जो कैविटी है ब्लू कलर वाला जो दिख रहा है दैट इज गोट बी योर सीलो गॉट इट ये देखो ये वाला पार्ट इसका इनलाज किया है दिस फीमेल इज रनिंग एंड दिस पोर्शन ऑफ हर बेली इज एनलाज विच शोज दी पेरिटोनियम विद द बॉडी कैविटी ओके सो यू लेव एंडरस्टेड वॉट इज दिस कैविटी एक्चुअली 
Look at this. Space between body wall and digestive cavity is filled with matrix that is parenchyma, which is seen in porifera to platyal mantis. So here, there is no cavity present because that cavity is completely filled with what parenchyma. Therefore, these will be called as acylomenes. Okay, so ye jo cavity hai, wo cavity hai hi nahi. There is no cavity anywhere. Can you see any cavity here? No. Right. So this are going to be called as what? Acylomenes. So here you can see digestive tract from the endoderm, tissue filled with this entire region to form the mesoderm and body covering to form the epiderm. ये प्लेटियल मेंथिस का डायग्राम दिया है प्लेटियल मेंथिस को बीच में से कट करके दिखा रहा है सो दे डू नॉट हैव एनी कैविटी दे डू नॉट हैव एनी सीलोम सो दे विल बी कंसीडर्ड एज ए सीलोम सूडो मींस पॉल्स सो सूडो सिलोमेट्स क्या है देखो हियर द बॉडी कैविटी इज नॉट लाइंड बाय मीजोडर्म बॉडी कैविटी है बट व्हाट वाज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सीलोम इट शुड बी लाइंड बाय मीजोडर्म so here the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm rather the mesoderm is scattered in pouches which is seen only and only in acylmentis so pseudo coelomate ye jo word kabhi bhi aapke paper mein aata hai na beta by default only one type of organism is present that is acylmentis no other uh, phyla is going to have pseudo coelomates okay तो पॉरिफेरा टू प्लेटियल मेंटिस इज एसिलोमेट्स एंड सूडो सिलोमेट्स एक ही है दैट इज एस्किलमेंटिस एंड बियॉन्ड एस्किलमेंटिस दैट इज फ्रॉम एनालिडा टू कॉर्डेटा एवरीवन विल हैव अ सीलो सो दैट इज सिलोमेट्स और टू सिलोम एज वी से हियर द सिलोम अराइजेस फ्रॉम द मीजोडर्म एग्जांपल एनालिडा टू कॉर्डेटा सो हियर यू कैन सी ये अर्थफॉर्म लिया है अर्थफॉर्म को कट किया तो यू कैन सी द सिलोम ऑफ द आर सी so this is blue one body covered from ectoderm tissue layer lining coelom and suspending internal organs from the mesoderm here and digestive tract from the ectoderm so this is the digestive tract this is the ectoderm ye mesoderm hai aur mesoderm ke beech mein ye cavity is dikh rahi hai which is going to be your coelom got it any difficulty in understanding a coelomate pseudo coelomate and coelomates remember a coelomate still platyal mantis pseudo coelomates only one ascal mantis and analida up till chordata all are coelomates theek hai ye yaad rakhna padega would you be able to recollect इसलिए मैंने स्टार्टिंग में वो जो इलेवन फाइलम बताया मैंने पहले ही बोला उसका ऑर्डर अच्छी तरह से याद रखो तो ये चैप्टर इधर ही इजी हो जाएगा फाइन देन सी इज बॉडी और ऑर्गन इज एक्सटर्नली एज वेल एज इंटरनली डिवाइडेड इन टू रिपीटेड सेगमेंट सिर्फ एक्सटर्नल सेगमेंट से है तो इट वॉन्ट बी कंसिडर्ड एज मेटामेरिज्म it should be externally as well as internally okay example annelids like earthworm and arthropods not all but many of the arthropods going to have a metameric uh, segmentation theek hai to ye dekho ye bahar se aapko dikh rahe hai segments earthworm ke upar se aur ye internally bhi hai ye internal segments bhi theek hai that is going to be your metamorphism ha earth from internal yeah the sixth and the last criteria is going to be what absence or presence of a notochord so see notochord it is a mesodermally derived supporting rod formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals right so here you can see yeah hollow dorsal nerve cord yeah right animals with notochord are called as chordates 
and those without the notochord will be called as non-cord nerves. So here you can see a notochord very clearly. Ye dekho, dikh raha hai tumhe ye notochord hai. Ye brown wala. Vaise hi idhar bhi brown wala notochord dekho ja. See this. Correct. So nerve cord is present as well as notochord is present. Nerve cord is present as well as notochord is present. So these type of animals will be called as what? Cordates. So all six criteria are understood for making groups of organism. What is the difference between nerve cord and notochord? Hollow dorsal nerves in which the nerves or the neural signals either say pass away. And this is going to be your supporting system. Our notochord is modified to form spinal cord. Okay. Our notochord is modified to form spinal cord. Okay. Any difficulty till your before I move ahead with the actual classification. Just say I'm the Talophyta, Bryophyta, Tetrophyta, Gymnosperm, Angiosperm, then something called as Halophytes, uh, Chlorophyceae, Pheophyceae, Rhodophyceae, Bryophytes, we have liverworts, hornworts, mosses, or hepatic opsida, then Anthoceratopsida, and then Musca. How did we get this? We have to talk about animals as well. But before I go to that type of classification, any difficulty in whatever we have done? Hmm. Tell me. Any problem? I'll go ahead. Okay. In the mammalian at a glance, levels of organization we have already seen cellular, mostly asymmetrical, acylomate. Example is corifer. So, how is the classification, level of organization, how is the symmetry, how is the body cavity, and what is the name of that file? Okay. If it is tissue, organ, or organ system level of classification, it could be radial symmetry or bilateral symmetry. If it is radial symmetry, body cavity check karte, acylomates hota hai. Example is cylindrata, also called as nararia, and tenophora. Okay. Bilateral symmetry अगर दिखाई देती है तो आधे acylomates, pseudocylomates और cylomates is one more criteria that we have to see. If it is acylomates, then it is platyl matrix. If it is pseudocylomates, just now I told you only one example that is acyl matrix. And if it is cylomates, then there could be annelid, arthropoda, mollusca, echinodermata, hemichordate or chordate. ठीक है? इधर echinodermata में एक ऐसा फ्लार बनाया है जिसका मीनिंग यहाँ पर दिया है दैट इकानोडोम शो रेडियल सिमेट्री इन एडल्ट स्टेजेस व्हिच ऑलरेडी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन जस्ट नाउ व्हेन आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट इकानोडोम्स फाइन सो वन मोर टाइम बेटा किंगडम एनिमलिया इफ इट इज सेल्युलर मींस ओनली सेल एग्रीगेट्स देन द सिमेट्रीज � Phylum Porifera. If the organization of tissue, organ, or organ system, then we have to check for the symmetry. If it is radial or it is uh, uh, bi bilateral. If it is radial, then we have to check if it is coelomate or acylomate. So it's acylomates. The example is going to be platyl. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, tenophora and nidaria. If it is bilateral symmetry, then we have to check again what? Acylomate, pseudocylomate, yeah, coelomate. If it is acylomate, bilateral symmetry, then there is only one particular example, that is platyal menthes. And if it is going to be pseudocylomate, bilateral symmetry, only one again, acyl menthes. Rest, everyone will come under True coelom, bilateral, that is annelida, arthropoda, 
mollusca, echinodermata, hemichordata, and chordata. Simple. This particular chart is given in your NPRD textbook as well. In detail, they are given about this. ठीक है समझा अच्छी तरह से बेटा कोई डिफिकल्टी है ब्यूटिफुल डायग्राम द फोटोग्राफ इट सेल्फ इज सो क्लियर दैन इट इज यू नो डिस्टिंग इट्स फॉर्म फ्रॉम दी अदर लाइफ फॉर्म उसके आजू बाजू में एक फिश है कुछ प्लांट दिखाई दे रहे हैं You can see green algae. You can see the kelps. Here, देखो यहाँ पर kelps है ये. These are the kelps, right? But look at this. These are very typical and unique in their formation, right? This is porifera. Yeah, all these are porifera only. Phylum porifera. What we have to check about phylum porifera? Level of organization. body symmetry germinal layers xylem habit and habitat digestive system respiratory system circulatory system reproduction unique features and the examples all these are going to make up your complete phylum porifera general characters grades of organization cellular means what only cell aggregates symmetry mostly asymmetrical some could be radial germ layers absent they don't have any germ layers they are simple cell aggregates xylem absent so they are called as acylomates correct habit and habitat aquatic mostly marine sedentary lifestyle that is they are attached with the Uh, rocks or the ocean beds or something they are attached from the base and they are free from the apex that is called as sedentary they could be solitary or they could be colonial solitary means they can be all alone or they can form colonies theek okay? hai right so these are going to be your uh, habit and habitat then see digestive system absent so how do they perform digestion then so digestion is going to be performed intracellularly that is digestion inside cell intracellularly hai beta organ ke andar hota hai wo intracellularly hota hai so individual cells of this hollow structures na they are going to have their digestion taking place inside individual cells okay respiratory system absent सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम एक्सेंट है सिंपल सेल एग्रीगेट्स तो क्या ये सिस्टम्स होंगे उनके पास कुछ नहीं होगा राइट रिप्रोडक्शन ए सेक्शुअल बाय फ्रेगमेंटेशन एंड दे आल्सो शो द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ गैमेट्स व्हिच आल्सो गोइंग टू शो सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन दे आर हर्माफ्रोडाइट्स दैट इज मेल एंड फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गन्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द सिंगल इंडिविजुअल सी माय डियर्स इन केस ऑफ प्लांट्स वी यूज द वर्ड मोनोशियस and in case of animals we use the word hermaphrodites right internal fertilization development is indirect what do you mean by this word indirect the meaning of this word indirect ka matlab hota hai there are going to be several different larval stages in between okay so one larval stage will look different from other larval stage so see an adult sponge releases sperm cells the sperm cells enter another sponge a sperm cell fertilizes the egg cell you can see this is the egg cell this is the sperm cell they are fertilizing a larva develops correct water current carry the larva away the larva settles on a hard surface and develops into an adult sponge so itna simple inka reproductive cycle hai sexual reproductive cycle hai Got it? Now, if you look at this larva, it does not resemble anywhere with the adult. बिल्कुल adult के जैसा ये नहीं दिखता है. 
है ना इसलिए हम इसको कहते हैं इनडिरेक्ट डेवलपमेंट गॉट इट दैट इज अबाउट दी रिप्रोडक्शन वट आर द यूनिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पॉलिथेन दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिक फीचर्स दे आर गॉट वाइट वॉटर कनाल सिस्टम हियर वॉटर एंटर्स थ्रू millions of minute pores called as ostia what are they called as ostia which are present in the body wall into a central cavity you can see this these all are going to be the ostia the ostia theek hai these all are ostia and through these ostia ye cells ke beech mein ye jo openings hai wo ostia hai water will be entering inside so you can see the water is entering inside this ostia uh ha huh. into the central cavity which is going to be called as spongocele from where it goes out through the osculum so see pani ko andar aane ke liye itne chote 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 itne spaces hai but to let out the water there is only one opening called as osculum so this osculum this osculum is a single opening through which the water will be thrown out and ostia are several millions of openings through which the water will enter inside and because of these pores because of this ostia the entire sponge look porous porous ko hi porifera kaha jata hai okay so the water will enter through the ostia the, it will reach the cavity called as spongocele from the spongocele the water will be drained out through the osculum and the water will again come out into the water bottle did you all understand but why this system is there why this canal system is there so see canal system is used for food gathering gaseous exchange and removal of waste so whatever water would enter inside the spongocele will have a lot of food also with it so that water will be laden with food so they'll get a source of food over there and whatever waste has been made inside the spongocele after digestion of the food will be thrown out via the osculum so the water canal system is helping in what nourishment correct gaseous exchange as well as excretion theek hai understood so here also you can see the water flow is inside through this porosites or ostia and the water flows outside through the ostium any problem in understanding ostia spongocele osculum or the water canal system in total anyone who has got any difficulty please stop and ask me beta bolo tell me all good सेंट्रल कैविटी ये पॉइंट पार्ट को अगर हमने एन लार्ज किया जूम किया तो वॉट डू बी सी बी सी ग्लास लाइक स्पीक्यूल्स amiboid cells semi fluid matrix flattened surface cells and these are going to be called as the collar cells what are these cells going to be called as collar cells fine these are the various shapes of the spicules so spicules and spongin fibers bahut important hai because what is the function let's see see acha they haven't given okay so these are going to be helping in what these are going to be these collar cells are going to be helping in only in porifera collar cells are only found in uh, porifera okay yeah so they are going to be helping in excretion part rather i would say digestion and excretion digestion ke liye collar cells kaam me aate hain okay got it okay so remember the names are huh? examples साइकॉन ये देखो ये ओरिजिनली ऐसे दिखता है पानी में आपको ड्राइंग के लिए ऐसे ड्रॉ करना है या बुक में ऐसे दिखाना है 
spongilla looks like this. It's a fresh water sponge. You have to draw it like this way or in your books, the diagram is something like this. Many students feel this is a fish because it seems like an eye and all those things. No, huh? these are the uh, ostia that are going to be present. Okay. This is euspongia, which is called as bath soap. Okay. It looks like this originally, and this is the way we draw it. Why do we call it as bath soap? You know, we use this for scrubbing. Many of us, we use this as a scrub. I don't know if you have ever used it. It's got a shape and scrub. And it clears out the dead skin of the foot especially. That was called as the bath sponge. You sponge, yeah. So three examples of porifera that you have to write down five, five times. Cycon, spongula, you sponge. All three are the examples of porifera. Any difficulty? Any difficulty? Come on, go through it quickly. Write down the examples, otherwise you will forget it later on. And I want you all to write it five, five times. The same thing goes. Okay. Wait. Now, uh, before I move ahead with uh, the next one, let me tell you all your NCRT textbooks may. यहाँ पर जो collar cells दिए हैं ना ये collar cells लिखा है ना यहाँ पर they are nothing but they are also called as coanocytes what are they called as C H O A N O coanocytes okay तो ये word और collar cells एक ही होते ठीक so at a glance let us look at it grades of organization summary जिसको हम बोलते हैं Cellular, symmetry, mostly asymmetrical, some are radial, germ layers absent, acylomate, aquatic, sedentary, solitary or colonial, digestive system absent, intracellular digestion takes place, respiratory system absent, circulatory system absent, reproduction, asexual and sexual, they are hermaphrodites, they show internal fertilization, development is indirect, unique feature is Water canal system, millions of ostia present, spongocene and canals are lined by coanocytes. So, now they have given the word coanocytes, they have given the first color cell. They have said that the first color cell, coanocytes and color cells are the same. Body is supported by spicules and spongin fibers. Example, cycon, spongia and spongia. Right? Understood? ये एक चार्ट अगर तुमने याद रखा ना तो तुम्हारा पूरा पॉरिफेरा दिमाग में फिट हो गया। This one chart is more than enough. That's why I said it's very easy. Kingdom animalia is very easy to understand and remember if you know the basics. Clear? कोई डिफिकल्टी है कोई भी वर्ड्स में? Look at it. Yes, 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 Vidhi, you're right. Yes. Proteins. Okay. Well, sedentary means not moving, not moving from the base. They cannot locomote. They cannot locomote. They are attached at the base, but they may sway along with the water current. They may just, you know, sway. So. Attached at the base, but free from the apex. That is actually sedentary. Okay. Okay. Then we come to phylum Nidaria. Jellyfish, which we call it. This diagram will be It looks like an umbrella, right? It's more like an umbrella. General characteristics, grades of organization, tissue level, symmetry, radial, germ layers, Diploblastic, coelom, acylomate. So the same thing we had studied in that NCRT ka chart na, 
यही यहाँ पर वर्ड्स ने पुटअप किया है टिश्यू लेवल बॉडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रेडियल सिमेट्री टू जम लेयर्स प्रेजेंट दैट मीन्स मीजोग्लिया इज गुड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस राइट एंड सीलोम इज एप्स so you can see the different pictures of the year or uh, different adarians okay and uh, what would be the common thing among them is what we have to understand habitat and habitat they are aquatic mostly marine just like your sponges they are sessile or free swimming sessile ka matlab hai not attached to anything okay and they can freely swim they could be solitary or they could be colonial right so here you can see they are actually moving in the water dekho ye aise mast pani mein aise ghum rahe aise na aise aise karke wo upar upar aate jaate fir ekdam se niche jaate again they try to move up move up again dham karke niche jaate so these all are going to be your nadarians see microscopic structures look at this okay then digestive system is incomplete you know what do you mean by incomplete digestive system they all have mouth and anus has one only only one opening that is called as incomplete digestive system yeah intracellular digestion as well as extracellular digestion okay so the the digestion could take place take place inside the cells also or it could take place in the body cavities also the respiratory system absent circulatory system is also absent look at this digestion of hydra digestive enzymes released from a gland cell soft tissues get digested food particle gets engulfed food particles get digested in the food vacuoles here you can see the food is entered inside and the digestion is taking place in the food vacuole okay so this is how the digestion in hydra can be seen so ye hydra ka unhone cross section liya hai ye dekho food daphnia a water flea to unhone kya khaya unhone mouth se engulf kya kiya to ek water flea ko inhone kha liya kisne hydra ne hydra has got tentacles you can see the tentacles correct so it captures daphnia which is nothing but a water flea puts it in its cavity which will then be digested inside these cells okay reproduction very important because here there is going to be something called as two types of forms can be seen so polyp reproduces asexually by the process of budding to give rise to medusa and medusa will produce gametes to act like a sexually reproducing organ so polyp and medusa are all showing alternation of generation okay so you can see over here very beautifully this is going to be a polyp okay okay fine polyp reduce, reproduces by asexual method see okay to give rise to it's a bud fine a phyla larva name of the larva larval stages hai name of the larvae larvae will grow to form a medusa तो ये जो अम्ब्रेला लाइक स्ट्रक्चर बनता है उसको हम कहते हैं मेड्यूसा ओके मेड्यूसा विल गिव आउट गेमीट्स फर्टिलाइजेशन विल टेक प्लेस टू गिव राइज टू लेन्यूला लार्वा अगेन दे डेवलप इन टू अ न्यू पॉलिप तो पॉलिप टू मेड्यूसा मेड्यूसा टू पॉलिप यही चलता रहता है तो ये मेड्यूसा का उन्होंने यहाँ पर स्ट्रक्चर दिखाया है बेटा लुक एट दिस यू कैन सी द गोनैट्स you also can see the gonads so these are the male gonads which will form the sperm these are the female gonads okay the sperms as well as the eggs will be released in the water so 
So the fertilization is external. Means what? The fertilization will take place in the water body, not inside the organism. So here the zygote would form. Zygote would develop into planula larvae. Planula larvae will eventually form a polyp. Did you understand? Polyp to medusa, medusa to a polyp. This is continuously going. Remember the two words which are not there in your books yet. You have to remember. Planula larvae is a product of sexual reproduction, while Ephyra larvae is a product of asexual reproduction. Okay, so mostly the sexes are separate. External fertilization means the egg and the sperm will fertilize in the water body. External fertilization development is indirect because there is formation of larvae. Any difficulty in understanding this? Polyp stage kya hota hai aur medusa stage kya hota hai samjha bata. Polyp stage hamesha attached hota hai, medusa free floating hota hai. Polyp buds banata hai, medusa gametes banata hai. Polyp asexual reproduction undergo karta hai, medusa sexual reproduction mein help karta hai. Understanding these points na? Correct? Polyp will give rise to medusa while medusa will give rise to polyp. What do you want me to explain with a medusa? Medusa is this. When a bud from the polyp will be broken out, it will develop an ephyra larvae. The ephyra larvae will eventually form the adult stage which will be called as medusa. So medusa is a free floating and uh, an umbrella like structure which is not attached to any substratum. It is going to make the gametes male gametes and the female gametes. Okay, so that is the role of medusa. Did you all understand this? Any difficulty in understanding any part of this? Beta? Is it clear to all of you? Oh. Yeah. What is the unique feature? Tentacles with neuroblast. Tentacles are finger-like structures which are surround which surrounds the mouth of the cylindrics. These tentacles are used for capturing food and to act like a defense organ. उनके पास अगर कोई आता है ना तो इससे वो ऐसे मतलब just like a lasso they will hit that particular uh, you know the organism which are trying to come near them. So it's an organ of defense as well. Nidoblast, which are also called as nidocytes, are stinging cells. Sting karna, samajhte ho? You know what is a sting? Honeybee ka sting. Ha. The stinging cells are present on the tentacles as well as on the body with a poison-filled capsule, which is called as nematocyst. Nidoblast is used for anchorage defense and to capture prey. Now, please understand this structure. See, they have given it. Here you can see the tentacle, the tip of the tentacle. You can see the tip of the tentacle. At the tip of the tentacle, you can see this. This is nothing but, what is this? Nidoblast. Is ko kya kehte hai? Nidoblast kehte hai. Ab ye nidoblast ko agar mein zoom karte hoon, mujhe kya andar milega? I can see a coiled thread and a capsule. This capsule will be called as nematocyst. Okay? And I don't know if you have ever played with a top in your... Bachpan mein kabhi tum log ne top se khela hai kya? You all call it as Beyblade, not a top. You used to call it as a top. You all call it as a Beyblade now. So, when we used to play with the tops, na, we had to hold that wooden or the plastic top, na, the wooden top only, and then we had to tie a rope around it. Yeah, ah, yes, we have to tie a rope around it. And then we have to, you know, like propel it in such a way and plug the string, that rope, perfectly so that the top could spin. In the same way, here also, you know, look at it. This is a thread which is tied onto that particular capsule. Now, as and when the prey is approaching, what it will do? It will propel out that thread. It will get that thread bound around the uh, prey or is 
पुल करके फिर अंदर लेके आता है देखो कितना स्मार्ट है हाइड्रा देखो एंड इट विल देन डल्प इट डाउन इन टू इट्स यू नो कैविटी सो दिस इज हाउ द प्रे इज कैप्चर्ड इन द सेम वे दे विल यू नो हिट और डैमेज द यू नो एनीवन हु इज कमिंग टू हार्म देम आल्सो तो अगर उसको कोई हार्म करने के लिए आता है उसके आजू बाजू आता है ना तो उसको भी ऐसे ही पट्टे से मार मार के परेशान कर देते ओके सो इट्स फॉर कैप्चरिंग फूड इट्स फॉर डिफेंस एंड इट इज आल्सो फॉर एंकरेज सो दे मे आल्सो हेल्प इन होल्डिंग दीज यू नो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन एट अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस सो यू अंडरस्टूड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन व्हाट इज अ टेंटिकल व्हाट इज अ नीडोब्लास्ट एंड व्हाट इज अ निमैटोसिस्ट ये तीनों फर्क समझ में आ गए हां सो निमैटोसिस्ट इज नथिंग बट अ कैप्सूल which will contain a coiled thread this particular cell containing a capsule and the coiled thread will be called as nidoblast nidoblast could be present in the tentacles of the hydra okay yes it me you are right you are right yes yes so here you can see this is the nematocyst this is the thread which has been come out any difficulty in understanding nidaria special characteristics unique features jo bhi hai samajh mein aa gaye all of you okay then they have got something called as a gastrovascular cavity jisko hum kehte hain cylinteron With an opening, which is the mouth on the hypostome. Now, what are all these things? Let us understand. Okay, here you can see a polyp stage. This is the polyp stage. Correct. Here you can see the hypostome. Okay, which is going to bear the mouth. This is the body stalk. This is the gastrovascular cavity. The way the sponges had spongocele. these nidarians will have gastrovascular cavity these are the tentacles correct right? this yellow part which is present between the body stalk and the gastrovascular cavity is called as gastrodermis over the gastrodermis you can see a light blue color ka structure which will be nothing but your mesoglea so you remember ectoderm and endoderm ke beech mein mesoglea hota hai So, ये ही उन्होंने दिखाया है डिप्लोबास्टिक ऑर्गेनिज्म के हिसाब से एपिडोमिस ओके दिस इज द मेड्यूसा फॉर्म इट आल्सो इज गोइंग टू हैव अ माउथ टेंटिकल एपिडोमिस मीजोग्लिया गैस्ट्रोडर्मिस गैस्ट्रोवेस्कुलर कैविटी एवरीथिंग विल बी द सेम इवन इन दिस स्टेज ओके सो दिस इज द पॉलिप फॉर्म दिस इज द मेड्यूसा फॉर्म बोथ आर गोइंग टू बी हैविंग द सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर्स internal any doubts beta samajh mein aa gaya ye polyp and medusa forms ke bare mein unhone aur achhi tarah se dikhaya hai in general there are two types of body forms in nidarians polyp and medusa polyp is tubular attached asexual form with upwardly directed mouth and tentacles Example of Medusa uh, polyformis, Hydra and Adamsia. Well, Medusa is an umbrella-like, free-swimming sexual form with downwardly directed mouth and tentacles. Here you can see the difference. Example Aurelia, which is called as jellyfish. But I, ye fish hai hi nahi. Ye nidarian hai. Jellyfish is not a fish. It's a nidarian. so it's a misnomer isko fish bolna galat hai because jab hum yahi chapter mein aage fish kya hota hai dekhenge na that time you will realize this is not a fish at all but because it belongs to water because it can swim in water usko ek fish naam de diya hai but it's a wrong name the good scientific name which is accepted is aurelia fine So look at the difference between polyp form and medusa form. Example, Adamsia and Aurelia. 
ठीक है कोई डिफिकल्टी है Then, as I said, they show alternation of generation. That is what they are talking about. Metagenesis. It is the phenomena shown by some Darwinians in which polyp produces medusa asexually and medusa produces polyp sexually. Example is Obelia. So the same thing that I had, you know, discussed earlier. So see, these are the gonads, sperm and the egg. external fertilization takes place to give rise to zygote zygote will develop to form the planula larva planula larva will then get attached to the substratum and develop into a polyp this is a mature polyp why do we call it as a mature polyp because now a bud formation is seen over here so asexual reproduction takes place by budding portion of a colony of polyp see you can see so many polyps are being formed this is the feeding polyp means the tentacles are developed and now they can capture the prey on their own okay fine and they will bud off to give rise to medusa so this is the bud of the medusa ye jab nikal aayega bahar so they will develop into medusa so polyp gives rise to medusa asexually and medusa gives rise to polyp sexually Did you all understand alternation of generation, as seen in Obelia? Please remember the names. So till now we have seen something called as three names in the Darians as well. That is what Hydra, correct? The first one. Then the second one that we saw was Aurelia, and the third that we are seeing is Obelia. ठीक है? what you want beta alternation of generation see this is your polyp form polyp will bud off right okay? ye polyp hai ye bud bahar nikal ke phek dega iska bud jo hai it will germinate to form this medusa medusas are male and female different so male medusas will make spermatozoa females will make eggs so the sperms and the eggs will be liberated into the water bodies they will undergo fertilization to give rise to zygote zygote will undergo mitosis to develop into planula larvae which will then further mature to form the polyp so the polyp will give rise to medusa medusa will give rise to polyp so there is alternation of generation just as in case of plants sporophyte gives rise to gametophyte gametophyte gives rise to sporophyte in the same way here polyp gives rise to medusa medusa gives rise to polyp okay still any confusions my dears the darians unique characteristic is ke teen teen humne dekhe hain ha so you have to remember all of them but they are easy of course corals have skeleton made up of calcium caco3 kya hai calcium caco3 kya hota hai come on inorganic chemistry ki organic chemistry what is it come on i want the name caco3 chemistry nikalo tumhari ha that is what i'm asking yes you all are right calcium calcium carbonate so see some of these are called as corals you have heard about this word coral corals pata hai aapko ornaments ke jaise hum use karte hai corals ko right we use corals to make ornaments so the corals have skeleton made up of calcium carbonate so corals are the fourth example of nadarians So first example that we saw was Hydra, second was Aurelia, third was Obelia, and fourth is Coral. Coral general term है उसके अलग अलग नाम है बेटा ये देखो मशरूम कोरल ब्रेन कोरल मैड्रापोरा ये है ट्यूबीपोरा ये अलग अलग उसके है ना नाम है दिस आर द डिफरेंट नेम्स ऑफ इट ठीक है 
Understood? So these all are going to be the different coordinates. Yes. Okay. So look at this. Stony coordinate. Yes, stony coordinate. This is the stony coral. The name has not been mentioned. This is the stony coral. And this is this is going to be your uh, finger-like corals. These are called as the finger corals. Okay. Yeah. So you can see tentacles. You can see the mouth, the stomach, gastrodermis. Then uh, this is your sinusarc. मतलब एक दूसरे को connect करने वाले जो होते हैं ना structures जो होते हैं. And here you can see the basal plate, theca. ये ये जो है ना ये exactly ये पूरा का पूरा है ना stony coral का structure. Internally they look like this. They are very beautiful. Examples: Hydra, Obelia, Phizelia, Adamsia. Tenatula, Gorgonia, and Meandrina. These all examples are given in your NCERT textbook. Yeah, they connect the two uh, organisms together, interconnect. But if you see all examples of names in your book, they are only given names. Here, they are only showing you the pictures. Hydra looks like this. Obelia. Physelia is also called as Portuguese man of war. Please remember these. 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 Portuguese man of war is also given in your textbooks. So this is Physelia. They look like this. Aramsia is seen anemone. Penatula is sea pen. Gorgonia is sea fan. And Neanderthal is brain coat. You have to remember these names. Yeah, all, 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 all. So have you all written down? Write down these names. आज अब भी अब भी एक एक बार लिखो नहीं तो तुम बोलोगे मैम आपने शेयर नहीं किया था तो हमारे पास कैसे आएगा एनसीआर डी तो हम खोलते ही नहीं है राइट ऑन दीज एग्जाम्पल एंड यू और करके और एक मैंने आपको बताया है हाइड्रा है ही लेकिन बीच में मैंने आपको और भी बताया था दैट वॉज दूसा वाला एग्जाम्पल So write on all of them: Hydra, Obelia, Physelia, Adamsia, Penatula, uh, Gorgonia, Meandria, and Aurelia. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight names to be written. Yeah, eight names to be written for whom? Nadarians. Sponge के लिए तीन ही था. इसके लिए आठ है. लिखे सबने कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सारे ग्लांस Grades of organization tissue: symmetry radial, germless diploblastic, coelom acelomate, habit and habitat aquatic, free living, a uh, free swimming, sessile, solitary or colonial, digestive system incomplete. They could undergo intracellular as well as extracellular digestion. Respiratory system absent, circulatory system absent, reproduction. Polyp reproduces asexually by the process of budding to give rise to medusa, and medusa undergoes sexual reproduction to give rise to polyp. Most are separate sexes. External fertilization takes place. Development is indirect. I hope you all remember the meanings of all these. Ah, huh? external fertilization means fertilization will take place in the water body. Indirect development means. larval stages would be formed intermediate larval stages would be formed unique features tentacles with nidoblast gastrovascular cavity with an opening on hypostome polyp and medusa forms some show alternation of generation corals have skeleton made up of calcium carbonate examples hydra obelia aurelia 
Phaezalia, Adamsia, Penatula, uh, Gorgonia, Meandula. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes. So, this yeah, at a glance, it becomes simple. If you have a meaning, you can understand it. These are going to help you all a lot. These short notes you have to make. How do you make it? How do you make it? Where you spend more time, in which area, you have to make these charts. You have to actually make charts and, you know, stick it. Small small charts बनाकर ये individual characteristics at a glance वाले ये जो charts मैं यहाँ पर directly बना के दे रही हूँ ना ये आपको बना के है ना you have to stick it on the area where you regularly move around you know what will happen within two three months ना वो देख देख के है ना आपका पूरा animal kingdom याद हो जाएगा you don't have to sit and study for animal kingdom just looking at it at a glance you know till your examination take place next year just to ensure that you have little, little, like, sticky notes like this, you can make a little, little charge and put it in your handwriting. It will help you all a lot. There is no need for ratta. There is no need for ratta. Just looking at this, for a year, your animal kingdom will be, you know, done very easily. Okay, so that was the second one that is uh, Nidarium that we have seen. Then we go ahead with the third one that is Tenophora, also called as uh, Tenoblasts. Okay, so they are foam jellies or we call them as sea walnuts. You have examples in. They look kaise dikta hai. Iski speciality hoti hai bioluminescence. They shine during the night. They look so transparent, glass-like, see? Right? Yeah, that are, they are very beautiful. They are very beautiful, but they are equally harmful. Let us see. Okay. So, general characteristics may. Grades of organization, tissue grade. Means they are going to form only tissues. They don't have any organs. They don't have any organ systems. This one also you can see, right? This red and golden color is shining in the night. These are all the pictures of the night. If you look at the background, you will see dark background. Because this, this pictures are taken especially during the night time. During the day time, you know, because they are almost translucent or transparent, you cannot figure them out. Night, mein, yes, you can see them. Symmetry is radial symmetry. You can see how beautiful the pictures are. You cut them into whatever, you know, like whichever plane you're going to get two equal halves. So symmetry is radial symmetry. Germ layers, diploblastic, they have got two germ layers. Here you can see the actual picture and this is the diagrammatic representation. Okay, so you can see very well, uh, this is the way the organism look like. Acylomates, no coelom present. You can see over here, these are the tentacles. The tentacles have got fine hair-like projections, which would be called as, co uh, you know, uh, this one, uh, hairy tentacles. We call them as hairy tentacles, fine hair-like tentacles, okay? This is the apical organ. And just, just along with that, you have got the anal pore. Okay, here you can see the tentacle sheath. Look at the stomach, the gut, the pharynx. Okay, here you can see the mouth. Well, and can you see this word comb plates, beta? So, these comb plates are these. These are not these. These are all. 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 These would be called as comb plates. So the speciality of tenophores is presence of comb plates. Very clearly you can see over here. Habit and habitat, exclusively marine habit. And habitat kaisa hai uska? Solitary and pelagic. What do you mean by pelagic? They are going to be found in the uh, 
वॉटर लेवल मतलब लोअर लेवल ऑफ दी वॉटर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पेलाजिक लाइफ स्टाइल ठीक है एक्सक्लूसिवली मरीन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज इनकम्प्लीट इंट्रा सेल्युलर एज वेल एज एक्सट्रा सेल्युलर डाइजेशन कैन टेक प्लेस सी सो मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फोटोग्राफ्स हैव बीन टेकन ऑफ द सेम ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड एवरीवेयर इट लुक्स सो ब्यूटिफुल राइट रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम एब्सेंट circulatory system absent they don't have anything reproduction only sexual now this is something which is very unique isn't it they are going to have only sexual reproduction that is going to be uh, an available option they are hermaphrodites external fertilization development is indirect so you know the meaning of all these now what is a unique feature locomotion is by eight vertical एक्सटर्नल रोज ऑफ सीलिएटेड कोम प्लेट सो ये आपको यहां पर है ना वन टू ये दिखाई दे रहे वैसे ही थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट एट कोम प्लेट आपको दिखाई देंगे वर्टिकल रो में सीलिएटेड कोम प्लेट दे ऑल्सो हैव गॉट टेंटिकल्स विच यू कैन सी अफकोर्स ओके So see, they have given the actual structure of the comb plates. Ka close up, ye dekho. Kitna must dikh raha hai ye dekho. Liye. This is one comb plate. You can see, like a chain. Yes. Here you can see the comb plates. Ye one chain. Ye second chain. Hmm. Comb plates are called as teens. therefore they are called as tenopoda c t e n e teens ka matlab hota hai plates comb plates understood any difficulty example dekho beta pleurobachia this diagram is of pleurobachia okay they have the ability to emit light from the body this phenomenon is called as bioluminescence what is it going to be called as bioluminescence remember this examples pleurobachia and tenoplana ye dekh doesn't it look like a uh, uh, you know like uh, that night lamp wala thing glass ke lamps hote hai dekho they look exactly like that na right and here you can see the comb plates very nicely this is one two Three, four, five, six, seven, and here for here eight. You can see the four plates very nicely. Any difficulty in understanding these? This is one of the simplest. You know, for us, very simplest type of group. Characteristics at a glance: grades of organization, tissue, symmetry, radial, germ layers, diploblastic, silo, acylomates. habitat and habitat exclusively marine solitary and pelagic digestive system is incomplete intracellular and extracellular digestion respiratory system absent circulatory system absent reproduction only sexual external fertilization development is indirect unique features locomotion by eight vertical comb plates tentacles are present they show bioluminescence example do hi hai tenoplana and pleurobachia so please write down the example ke naam beta tenoplana and pleurobachia write it down quickly so till now you have written uh, 14 right 14 examples till now what is bioluminescence capacity of emitting light during night is called as bioluminescence the capacity of an organism to emit light during night is called as bioluminescence 
Okay. Bioluminescence was shown by many or uh, you know organisms. The one which is very famous is which one? Which fly? Which emits light at the night? So what? We call it as. It's called as what? रात में उड़ते हैं तो दिखते हैं हाँ काजवे कहते हम लोग उसको मराठी में जुगनू कहते हैं हिंदी में फायर फ्लाइज वेरी करेक्ट सो दो फायर फ्लाइज इन हिंदी भी कॉल देम एज जुगनू इन मराठी भी कॉल देम एज काजवे राइट वो कोई तो एक मूवी आया था शंकर महादेवन का और सचिन पिलगावकर का गाना मुझे याद है यार लेकिन I don't remember the movies. Usme ye bahut sare fireflies dikhaye the. It was a Marathi movie. It was a Marathi movie. I forgot the name. Shankar Mahadevan and Sachin Pilgarkar. It was based on some uh, music concert. Uh, Kew Parthal. It was based on some music. Kew Parthal. Shankar Mahadevan is famous for music now. You know him. You know na he had sung that breathless. Ha ah, yes Jaya you you are you are right I forgot the name it was Katyar Kaza Bhushti I remember. Ha what is your doubt? Pelagic ka meaning? Ah uh, pelagic ka meaning hota hai those which are present in open seas or open water bodies. Okay not confined. So sea hai ocean hai that is called as pelagic. in lower layers of the uh, water body generally they will be found swimming for this can i go ahead हो रहा है कि नहीं नेक्स्ट वी कम टू प्लेटेल मेंथस नेक्स्ट वी कम टू प्लेटेल मेंथस सो व्हाट इज द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ प्लेटेल मेंथस लुक एट इट ग्रेड्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑर्गन एंड ऑर्गन सिस्टम दिस इज द एक्चुअल वर्म आ ये ऐसे दिखता है ये प्लेटल मेंथस का ये जो टेप वर्म है ना ये एक्चुअल में ऐसे दिखता है ये फोटोग्राफ है ये ड्राइंग नहीं है दिस इज द फोटोग्राफ एंड दिस इज प्लेनेरिया ओके यू कैन सी इट आई शो यू आई टेल यू वेर यू गेट द टेप वर्म्स दिस इज प्लेनेरिया बेटा ये प्लेनेरिया है व्हिच इज वेरी फेमस फॉर दिस थिंग रीजेनरेशन रीजेनरेशन जब भी हम पढ़ाते हैं ना द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दैट वी गिव इज प्लेन एरिया सो वेर दिस प्लेन एरिया बिलोंग टू इट बिलोंग टू प्लेटेल सिमेट्री इज बायोलैट्रली सिमेट्रिकल यू कैन ओनली कट इट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फैशन टू गेट टू इक्वल हार्स सो बायोलैट्रल सिमेट्री है यहाँ पर रेडियल सिमेट्री खत्म हो गया हमने ऑलरेडी चार्ट में किया था If it is radial symmetry, it's going to be tenophora, yeah, fir nadaria, correct. And if it is uh, tissue level with bilateral symmetry, then a silomate si hai, but that is going to be platyal mantis. But because it is bilateral symmetry, it is not a part of nadaria or tenophora. Because of bilateral symmetry, now we have got it removed from there and put it into a new group called as platyal mantis. right germinal layer triploblastic three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm present so this is one more advanced thing that we can see so body covered from ectoderm tissue filled with region from the mesoderm and digestive tract from the endoderm right 
Coelom is absent. So though it is going to be your triploblastic type of organism, it does not have a body cavity. Therefore, it's going to be acylomate. So here you can see the structure very clearly. If we cut it from here, what will we see? You can see the endoderm. You can see the mesenchyme. Mesenchyme is nothing but the scattered tissue you can see over here. Muscle layer, that is going to be the mesoderm. And this is the ectoderm. So no cavity is present. Okay? Habitat and habit, mainly aquatic. Some are endoparasites, some are free living. So they could be found anywhere in water bodies, inside the animals as endoparasites, and some are free living. This is a liver fluke. Ye jo diagram hai, ye liver fluke ka diagram hai. Ye dekh. Fasciola kehte hum logos. The scientific name is fasciola. Liver fluke. Planaria is free, free living. This is an endoparasite. Even tapeworm, endoparasite. Okay. Digestive system is still incomplete. Only a single opening which acts as mouth and anus. Respiratory system absent, circulatory system absent. So very easy to remember these things. Hmm? Look at this planaria, beta. Here the eyes are there. But the eyes are not going to be showing any vision. Nothing. Branch gastrovascular cavity. This is the pharynx, which will bear the mouth as well as the anus. Dono ek me. Okay. Incomplete digestion. AC. Reproduction, asexual reproduction, that is by fragmentation. Even sexual reproduction is seen. They are hermaphrodites. Internal fertilization. Internal fertilization. This is something that is different from others till now. Right? Development is indirect. Many larval stages are going to be seen. Here. Fragmentation in planaria. Planaria is a high regeneration capacity. So this planaria is dividing into one, two, three pieces. But all the three pieces are developing into three organisms. So three adults can be formed from the three fragments of this planaria. Okay. So this is something very unique, isn't it? Here it, it has got ovaries. It has got testes. Therefore, they are hermaphrodites. Correct? Here they have got the genital pore, the oviduct, and the penis as well. So these planaria is going to be a very good example of asexual reproduction ke liye bhi and sexual reproduction ke liye bhi. Both clearly upper demarcations dikhai dite. Okay. Unique features. Unsegmented dorsoventrally flattened body except tapeworm. Excretion by Flame cells, which are also called as protonephridia. Please remember, this is a very common question that has been asked several times. Flame cells are found in. Flame cells carry out dash function. Planaria shows dash for excretion. You know, like various ways may your flame cells, planaria, planaria in the sense, uh, your platyal nymphs. Okay. Protonephridia ye words bohat common hai bitter. So ye in the bohat matlab favorite type of topic hai jahan se ye loog question banayin. Okay. So only tapeworms have got segmented body. Rest no one has got the segmented body. Planaria mein bhi nahi hai or fasciola mein bhi nahi hai. Look at this flame cell. Ye flame cell aise dikhte hai. Okay. Unique features, if it's a parasite especially, look at this. Hooks and suckers in parasitic forms. You can see these hooks. And these are the suckers. Now, what will they uh, help in? It's a parasite. So the parasite has to get attached to the tissue of the host. So hooks will help them to get attached to the host body. And the suckers will help them to absorb nutrients from the host's body. So see how they have adapted. 
the parasitic forms have adapted so precisely that वो आराम से होस्ट में से जो चाहिए वो निकाल सकते हैं तो सम एब्सॉर्ब न्यूट्रिएंट्स फ्रॉम द होस्ट थ्रू देयर बॉडी सरफेस ओके नाउ देयर इज वन मोर पॉइंट लेट मी सी इफ इट इज यू अंडरस्टूड ना हुक्स क्या है और सकर्स क्या है ओके यस एग्जांपल्स इज स्टीनिया सोलियम व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज द पोर्क वर्म पोर्क टेप वर्म कहते हैं उसको so where is it going to be found it's going to be found as a parasite in the pig pig ke intestine ke andar sabse zyada tinea solium milte hain hame okay fasciola is the liver fluke and planaria is generally free living three three examples tinea solium Fasciola and planaria. Please write down three names. Yeah, who cares for grip? Yes, but write down the examples: Tinea solium, fasciola, and planaria. And. Battery. One minute. I'll just connect to the charger. I'll come in a minute. Yes. Let us see the characteristics at a glance. Grades of organization is organ and organ system now. So till your tinofora, it was tissue, and from platyl menthes, we have got organ and organ system. Okay. Symmetry is bilateral, triploblastic, acylomate, mainly aquatic, endoparasites. Some are free living. Digestive system is incomplete. Respiratory absent, circulatory absent. Reproduction asexual, by fragmentation, as seen in Planaria, as well as sexual. They are hermaphrodites. There is going to be internal fertilization. Development is indirect, with many larval stages. Okay. Unique features: unsegmented dorsoventrally flattened body, except tapeworm, which has got you saw the segments on it. Excretion is by flame cells, that is going to be proto-nephridia. Parasites have hooks and suckers. Some absorb nutrients from the host through their body surface. Example: Tinea solium, Fasciola, and Planaria. Okay. Now there was one question which they had asked in two thousand seventeen. The question was that the parasitic forms, which bears um, the hooks and the scolex, show adaptations like dash. Okay, so they show the adaptations of having suckers and uh, uh, hooks. That itself is an adaptation. but along with that what is the other adaptation that they will have the other adaptation that these parasitic forms is going to have is they will not have any digestive system because they get ready made nutrition they only have to absorb the you know pre digested food from the host so it's a digested food उनको कोई डाइजेशन की जरूरत नहीं होती है इसीलिए प्लाटेल में डाइजेशन का कुछ मतलब बनता ही नहीं है सो इट इज नॉट एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर इट इज नॉट इंट्रा सेलुलर डाइजेशन इज एबसेंट इट्स इनकम्प्लीट सिस्टम बट नो डाइजेशन टेकिंग प्लेस इन पैरासाइटिक फॉर्म्स ओके सो दीज थ्री आर गुड बी योर 
इलेक्ट्रिकल ये टीनिया सोलियम ही है ये जो है ना ये टेप वम ही है दिस इज दैट व्हाइट कलर का वम दैट यू हैव सीन इन द अर्लियर पिक्चर सो इट्स गुड गेट अटैच्ड टू द पोस्ट का टिश्यू दिस इज अ डायग्राम दैट वाज द ओरिजिनल ओके देन वी कम टू एस्किल मेथड्स हुम and look this this is your ascaris ascaris pata hai na round worms jo pet mein hote hain sabke hote hain bachpan mein symmetry is bilateral symmetry yeah you can see the uh, you know loa loa ye dekho aankhon mein aa gaya hai it's in the eye ha huh? very clearly see it comes out ha huh? it comes out through the eyes ये आ जाता है बाहर लोअर लोअर सो दिस इज गोन प्योर बाइलेट्रल सिमेट्री दिस इज दाइलेरियल वर्म फाइलेरियल वर्म इज गोट कॉज यू नो वॉट फाइलेरिया दैट इज दिस वर्म का साइंटिफिक नेम इज बाउटेर एरिया बैनक्रॉफ्टी जो एलिफेंटाइसिस कराता है यू नो एलिफेंटाइसिस द लेग्स बिकम यूज लाइक एन एलिफेंट लेग्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एलिफेंटाइसिस Uh, which is caused by this filarial worm aayega human health and diseases chapter mein there is this filarial worm ke bare mein kahani hai uski okay how does it reach the eye it's going to be present within the entire uh, blood system and it reaches all the organs and wherever you know it can reach the eye it can come out through the ears nose mouth Okay. Then you can see over here the germinal layers are triploblastic. What do you mean by the word triploblastic? Three germinal layers can be seen: ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. This is the specific characteristic that you can see of all the, uh, you know, henceforth all the phyla. So from Aspilmanthus, triploblastic uh, clearly दिखाई दे रहा है. उसमें भी था. बॉडी This is your enterobias vermicularis, which is nothing but your thin worm. इसका जो ये tapering है ना ना एक से pin के जैसे दिखता है, therefore इसको thin worm कहा जाता है. सारे ये eskelmentes हैं. Sorosilamates we had seen, right? So see, this is going to be the gut endoderm. This is the sorosil. This is the mesoderm. These are the internal. Organs which are present, and this is the ectoderm. They are pseudocilomates. So see, false cilia. Okay. Habitat and habitat: aquatic and terrestrial, free living or parasitic, in plants also and in animals also. Look at these; you can see them very clearly. these are your catenotus which are aquatic free living look at this ascaris inside the intestine this is a real photograph which is taken ye real photograph hai endoscopy karate hai endoscopy mein na camera ek tablet mein dal kar camera andar dala jata hai and that camera goes on taking photographs of your entire gut okay this is this is an intestine ye intestine ke andar hai dekho kaise hai ye worms look at them so this is the intestine small intestine hai ye apna 
and you can see it is worms very clearly so long worms see they are generally thrown out through the feces but still this is cnor abditus elegans which is a free living ascalment get it cnor abditus cnor abditus aapke molecular biology mein bhi aayega genetics mein it is one of the organism jiske upar bahut zyada study hua hai genetic study hua hai okay yeah yeah these things generally happen in small children why that even in we all also generally you know chote bachcho mein hota hai na to wo 10 ml ka albendazole ya mebendazole peene ke liye dete hai aapne bhi piya hoga mujhe pata nahi pura 10 ml ka ek must bahut tasty medicine hota hai that is the only tasty medicine that i had ever had in my lifetime i mean i used to wait for consuming that askel uh, apna albendazole or mebendazole as a precautionary measure it doesn't mean that a person is having so it is you know that the, the child is given but it is always better you know why because the uh, inke jo uh, cysts hote hai na jo dormant forms hote hai na they are generally present as eggs or what we say because of a cyst in the mud okay now generally small children will be will play in the mud correct और फिर वही हाथ मुंह में गया तो वो सिस्ट जो है ना वो पूरा जर्मिनेट हो जाएगा अपने गट वॉल में जाने के बाद डेवलप इन टू वॉल्स सो इट्स अ प्रिकॉशनरी मेजर दैट यू कैन टेक हाँ नाउ आफ्टर यू बिकम लाइक केपेबल ऑफ टेकिंग पिल्स यू कैन टेक पिल्स बट बिफोर दैट इट्स गिवन एज टेन एम एल का पूरा बॉटल पीने के लिए देखते लुक एट द डायजेस्टिव सिस्टम it is complete so from platel menthes we can have a complete digestive system that is mouth is different and anus is different tubular alimentary canal with well developed muscular pharynx so you can see over here this is the mouth okay this is the pharynx yahan par this is the nerve ring okay you can see the intestine intestine hai beta ha then this is the pseudocoelom that you can see the cuticle this is the anus this is the reproductive pore this is the ovary and this is the excretory pore ovary yeah okay so this is a typical platyel mentha structure respiratory system and circulatory system are still absent only they do not have respiratory system or circulatory system reproduction they are dioecious sexes are separate sexual reproduction takes place internal fertilization takes place development could be direct or indirect means some of them will produce larval stages some of them will not produce larval stages theek okay? hai so it may be direct it may be indirect what are the unique features body is circular in cross section syncytial epidermis that is multi nucleate epidermal cells hote hain inke pass they have got a thick cuticle cuticle means a covering a mota sa covering hota hai unke upar okay an excretory tube is present to remove the body waste through the excretory pore so here you saw this was the excretory pore right so through this pore all the excretory waste will be thrown out theek hai yahan par dekho excretory tube yahan par dikhai de yahan par excretory pore dikhai de it's a pore it's an opening show sexual dimorphism it is the morphological difference between male and female females are longer than the males very clear females are really longer than the males and one more point is the males have a curved end while the females do not have any curvatures ye dekho males ka ye jo ek point hota hai na ye aise curved hota hai hamesha females ka kabhi nahi hota examples ascaris hookworm Pilarial worm, 
राउंड वम और बुक वम एक ही ये राउंड वम और एस्कैरिस एक ही होता है सी दिस इज योर एनसाइक्लोस्टोमा जिसको हम बुक वम लोकल नेम से जानते हैं हाँ सी दिस दिस इज व्हाट आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इज कॉल्ड एस एलिफेंट एसिस लुक एट दिस पर्सन लेग दे हैव बिकम लाइक एन एलिफेंट्स लेग एंड इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस बाउचर एरिया ये देखो बाउचर एरिया मैंने पहले ही बताया था आपको तो वॉट आर द थ्री नेम्स बेटा Ascaris, encyclostoma, and voucher area. Local name is roundworm, hookworm, and filarious worm, respectively. Filarial. Copy down these three names. Come on quickly. Ascaris, roundworm, encyclostoma, hookworm, and voucher area, filarial. Three no name. Copy down the last name. This one. हमारे पेट में ये एस्केरियसिस होता है राउंड वॉम प्रेजेंट होता है पेट में बहुत गंदा वाला दर्द होता है पीपल से ना डोंट ईट टू मच ऑफ स्वीट बचपन में सुना होगा बहुत ज्यादा स्वीट मत खा ले कीड़े हो जाते हैं पेट में ऐसे कुछ सुना है आपने कभी बोला है आपको these love sweets round worms love the sweets you know in this but if they attack na to hame bahut zyada meetha khane ka mann karta hai and generally they will reach the tonsil areas to yahan par hai na bahut aise andar se it becomes very irritating and you start coughing also and that cough has got a peculiar sound also small children will generally you know like इमीडिएटली समझ में आ जाता है बच्चों का वो कॉफिंग सुनने के बाद कि भाई इसको का प्रॉब्लम है गॉट इट डन गुड सो दैट्स अबाउट योर प्लेटेल एट अ ग्लांस organ system level of organization bilateral symmetry triploblast सूर्य सूर्य सिलोबे Aquatic, terrestrial, free living, parasitic. Sub conditions may you sustain for something. Digestive system is complete with mouth and anus. Respiratory system absent. Circulatory system absent. Reproduction, they are dioecious. Sexual reproduction takes place by internal fertilization. Development could be direct or indirect. Unique features: syncytial epithelium. Syncytial का मतलब होता है बेटा multi-nucleated. Okay. Thick cuticle and excretory tube is present to remove the waste through the excretory pore. They show sexual dimorphism. Example is Ascaris, and Cyclostoma, and Voucher area. Is it clear? Very much. कोई डिफिकल्टी है इसमें सो हाउ मेनी फाइला हैव बी स्टडीड टिल नाउ कॉरेफेरा नेडारिया कैनोफोरा प्लाटियल मेंथिस एस्किल मेंथिस सो आउट ऑफ द 11 फाइला दैट वी हैड टू स्टडी वी हैव कंप्लीटेड विद फाइव फाइला टुडे करेक्ट राइट इसके आगे आएगा अपना आर्थ्रोपोडा विच इज एक्चुअली नाउ विच गोइंग टू एनालिडा विच इज एक्चुअली गोइंग टू बी वेरी सिंपल ओके बट एनालिडा आर्थ्रोपोडा इकानोडर्माटा मॉलिस्क हेमी कॉर्डेटा एंड कॉर्डेटा आर व्हाट आर रिमेनिंग फॉर अस टू गो अहेड विद विच वी विल डू इट इन द next class it's almost 2:30 i won't trouble you all i won't make you all wait to complete annually okay but till whatever we have done kindly go through the textbooks kindly do it learn it very precisely the way i have done and you know at a glance wala part wo bahut important hai wo banate jao beta i know you will tell mam aap ye bhej do ppt वही देखिए हम लोग चार्ट बना कर चिपकाएंगे वट एवर बट यू नीड टू लर्न इट ओके सो फ्रॉम एनलिडा ऑनवर्ड विल गो हेड इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास बाय 
see you all.